Hello everyone and welcome back to Factorio. My name is Gord and today we need to get some new science. Namely, blue science. And it is a complicated one and we have a complicated conveyor belt system here set up explicitly to bring blue science into our world. So blue science is the last vial here, requires batteries and steel, advanced circuits, and smart inserters. Well, we've got batteries, we've got steel, so what we need to do is we need to split the batteries off of there. Now, how do we split items off of one track? Though the easiest way will be just, let's get a smart inserter, or yeah, let's get a smart inserter. And we're going to need, oh, yeah, solar energy is now ours. Electric engine, yeah, we can get that with uh, green science. All right, so smart inserter here will take batteries and put them on here. Okay, number two, steel, is right there. We need to bring it underground. And a couple more of those iron plates that I don't have. Easily fixed. All right. Now we need something that will put it on the other side of that belt. Which really all that tells me is we need to bring it around to here. And here. And then we just need a plain old fast inserter. All right. So that's part one. Oops. Dang it. It needs to place hysterical. Okay. All right, fast inserter. There we go. Not, not, I wouldn't call that the ideal way to merge two lines together, but you know what? We're not going to worry about it. All right, number three. Here's another fast inserter to provide circuits to that. Nope. Okay. There we go. All right, now how far can we go? Not far enough. We need one more underground, a few more underground. There we go. And then you go under there. Can you go any further? Nope. Well, that's okay, because all right, T, we need to research. We've got electric engines, can't get that. Uh, electronics. To say that this is slightly poorly organized would probably be an understatement, but okay. There's number one. And we're gonna put these right next to each other because we can use shorthand and longhand inserters to actually make the science. So all we need now is a factory for inserters. So as we say, smart inserters need um, electronic circuits and fast inserters. 
Well, we're making electronic circuits right there. Fast inserters require electronic circuits and iron plates and inserters. And inserters require iron plates, gears, and hey, electronic circuits. So let's use an inserter, a fast inserter again. There's a method to my madness. There really is. We're going to create a new assembly line. Where are we going to where are we going to bring in the other part of this? Hmm, copper's starting to run behind, isn't it? I'm actually starting to use up the copper faster than I can produce it. I think copper might be playing Okay, not playing out, but well, close in a couple spots. Oh, that one is played out, isn't it? Actually. Yeah, you are done. No, you're not done. You're almost done. Well, let's just speed you up a little. There we are. Yeah, some of these are getting quite close to being finished. Okay. So let's think. What do we need for our purposes here? We need to get... We've got electronic circuits. We're not going to need any copper for these. No. We have all the copper we're going to need. We're going to need iron gears and iron plates. So let's start right here. This will be iron gears. Probably again, but that's okay. We just need you to make them. Weird. What's different here? That's just a plain old assembly machine, isn't it? I'm just blind. Don't mind me. Okay, so that's making gears. Not very fast, but we'll make a few of the... Get electronic circuits here to save us some time. Because that should produce them very quickly. And iron. Yeah, we need to we need a new source of copper. I'll get a bit more of this. We're gonna get a we're just gonna use the smart with the smart ones here. And we need another long reach excavator. And this is going to load. Yeah, I've got a plan. This this will work quite nicely. I just have to figure out what bias. I can actually control the bias, can't I? If I do my cards right here, we're going to have iron placed onto there. And that is going to be the side I didn't want it on. So if I put it there, where will it go? Right there. Okay. Actually, I don't even have to do that much, do I? Yep. That's what I was hoping for. So all we need to do now is put that there, that there, and that there. Gears. Gears are for the basic inserters, which also require electronic circuits, which we are going to bring down through a inserter, a fast inserter filter, because we're going to need a lot of the full things. We may actually need to double up our production. We're going to bring those straight down this side, where all of the different ones can reach it. Okay. And then this. Is that all the materials we need? Gears, oh, iron, oh, we do need iron plates too. We have iron plates. We have gears and iron plates and electronic circuits. That's everything we need. Okay, we need three of these in a row. One, two, three, and power. There we go. Fast inserters. And we're actually going to box these up. We're going to create a, an inventory of these inserters. So we need this to go all the way up to all three of them. So fast inserter right here, right here, 
Okay, right here, and three long reachers. And three more fast inserters. And a long reach there. There. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot, you need to be smart. Smart inserter. Okay, let's see. So you need to make smart inserters. And let's see, here comes our smart inserter, which is only gonna move circuit boards. Advanced electronics now. Well, let's get robotics. Sure, why not? Okay, we'll get we'll get the copper coil in here. We'll preload this with coil. And then we'll preload this with Okay, so these require fast inserters. Fast inserters require regular inserters. Regular inserters go right there. One, two, and another long inserter. I must have missed one. There's that. There we are, long inserter there. Now, fast inserter there. Here we go. This thing should now be able to make Okay, it's short on electronic circuits, so we are going to have a circuit shortage. And what do circuits require? Iron plates. Well, actually, there's an easy solution right there. Speed it up. And, yeah, we're definitely going to need to up our copper production here. Let's put this just a little further down the line, huh? Okay. Okay. Now then, we need to unload them onto a belt. Actually, yeah, and belt into a buffer box. Because we definitely want some of these kicking around. It's smart inserters can't be anything but good to have smart inserters. And then a smart inserter there, and or sorry, fast and fast. And power. Can you not grab those? You can't, can you? Oh, stop it. All right, we'll do it this way. There, that will work. Box, inserter, inserter, belts now have everything they need. And where's our blue science coming? Going to go here. Okay, we got lots of room to do that, so all we need now are more of those. Suddenly, we need a lot more copper. And I don't think that is actually going to be fast enough. We're going to get four of these. We have, is it copper that is our limiting factor right now? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, we're going to need to amp up our copper, our circuit production, which means we're actually going to want to research in the near future. Where's the one? There's a tech that produces another, a next tier factory, I think. Or we could amp up the factory with mod modules. That's what we're going to do. But we need more copper. Absolutely, desperately need more copper. No, we can't put it there, can we? That's too bad. And... But that's okay. Number four will go there. Belts to here. Belts to there. Four fast inserters. And... Four 
four long reaches. There we go. Okay. But yes, yeah, circuit boards are my choke point, and choke copper is the choke point on the circuit boards. Because this thing should be able to produce them. Yeah, it's not getting copper enough fast enough, and it's not getting copper fast enough. Because we're doubling up on copper production. Which means we could actually supplement it that way. That might help. The only catch is it might keep any coil from getting to there. Let's try that. That's It's an experiment. Okay. So long reach two, three, four, fast inserter, two, three, and four, power, two, four, blue science, now there's a way of copying the production between these and I can't remember it off the top of my head but here we go blue science is on its way and not a moment too soon because I think we're gonna need some blue science related products there we go oh and we need to get our last factory up and running because we are one short Actually, we shouldn't even need those. There we are. That is what we will need. Okay. Coastal for the win. All right, let's start on Logistics 3. That'll get us the fastest possible belts in the game. Or electrical distribution, or modules. We should really research these modules. I think they're going to be very nice to have. We're going to give ourselves the room to expand potentially because that will leave us some room for some additional. Okay. All right, now all we need is four inserters to pull things out of there. Now, do we want to buffer smart inserters here as well? Maybe in a bit. There's obviously flaws in my setup here. In fact, we'll use smart inserters for this. Blue science. Blue science. Three and four and two power lines. There we go. It has begun. As soon as we get our smart inserter manufacturing problem sorted here. We really can't be stealing copper from here because we're going to delay the production of those. So what we really need is not to do this. As nice as it would be, we will just quickly reverse this. Okay. Actually, what we need to do is get more copper, because our copper is actually not smelting. Four of my uh, copper smelters are idle right now, which tells me we are short on r materials in our copper. And of course, I did not leave myself enough room to install some extra mines here. So we're going to reorganize here. That'll cover that. No, I want the power pole. There we go. 
And let's see. That will, let's see, that one's not covered. Hmm. Well, we'll just put a single mine over top of all that. Like so, that'll take care of that. You go there. We're just trying to exploit this copper to its fin obvious finish. And now, we need some underground copper here. Underground belt. Because we want to get bees. As much of this as possible. Okay. Which means we're going to need a couple more mining drills. And actually it would probably be easier if we took the iron underground too. Alright, let's see what we got here. So yeah, we're going to need to take the iron underground too. So we'll put you so you can cover all of excellent so the modules so speed productivity and efficiency but let's get automation three first because that gives us our next tier assembling machine so we're going to cover all the way up into that area that is actually out of sight now i'm standing where i want to put that one we're going to need to do two gap because we're going to need enough room to. Let's get a few more of those. Whoops. There we go. All right, two more copper mines up and running. And a whole bunch of underground belts going to be an interesting... Okay, we're going to have to do that slightly differently. That one has to go there. Perfect. Because then that is going to have to go too. Power poles. Now, hopefully... Perfect. We can get under there. And then that can reconnect. And we need to go... What is... Oh. Another friggin' power pole. There we go. Copper can now get through. Power is... Reestablished. Almost. There. Okay. That is absolutely maximizing my productivity off that copper. Mm, we're using this to produce lasers too, aren't we? Three stacks of lasers? See, my other idea for taking on one of these bases is actually to uh, run my power, my high tension power lines over there. Okay, now the thing I'm missing, which is the next step here, is getting an independent uh, circuit manufacturing or a back... Oh, you know what? Actually, if I can get this to go where I think I can get it to go, we can actually have this supplement the uh, core system as well. So let's get... We are short on everything right now. Let's get a few of those, some of those, some of those, some of those. And we need an iron plate still. Two assembling machines. These are going to go here to here. Oh! Ah, just a wall being damaged. But that means they're getting closer. And then we go. And then you to there. And you. Why do I have a pump jack? That's random. To there. Produce 
copper coil, produce electronic circuits. <sighs> yeah. And that's going to require iron. So actually, it makes more sense to have it like this. Copper. No, that, that will work. That will work. Come on. Okay, power. That'll cover everything of importance. Fast. Yeah, we need to back up some fast ones. Copper. Fast inserter to there. You're going to make electronic circuits. And then you are going to need a long reach. 